Cookies fam, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Diva Curl product. This product is the Leave-In Decadence, and this is from their Decadence line. And I was able to get my hands on this, and I bought this with my own money, so this is not sponsored. And I'm going to be telling you guys what I like about the product, and what I don't like, and whether I think it's worth it, price, all that good stuff. So if you guys want to see what my thoughts are about this product and also watch the rest of this video for more information about this product, then go ahead and do so. Make sure you like this video. Also subscribe to my channel, which the button is down below. So join the family and click that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. So this product is a leave-in and this is from the Decadence line. So the Decadence line is all towards, you know, a lot of moisture but very lightweight products. So when I saw this product, I was like, well, I don't have the rest of the Decadence line but this will be my first one. So I thought this would be really, really nice to try. So this is a new product like I mentioned and this is marketed to be ultra moisturizing. This has um, two new ingredients, which I'm going to butcher the names, obviously, but I think one of them is Pecky Oil. The other product that is in it is Shufa Milk, which I think that's what it is. But basically, these products are supposed to be ultra moisturizing. It's supposed to have more curl definition for a longer period of time. And it's just supposed, supposed to be all around very, very, very moisturizing, but very lightweight. So this formula is actually supposed to be built up free and it's supposed to just give your hair moisture throughout the entire week. So when I saw this product, I was like, oh my gosh, I need this because my hair has been super dry lately, so I need to try this product. So when I bought this off of the Diva Curl website, so I went to their website and I believe with the tax and the shipping and everything, it came up to $41 US. So I think Canadian, that was about 60 something dollars, which is extremely expensive for one product. But, you know, I just decided to try it and I was like, well, Diva Curl has never failed me before, so might as well try it. So this is the product. Now it does come with a pump, which I really, really like. Um, but when you squeeze it out, it is this kind of off-white, creamy look. Hopefully you guys can see that. So the consistency of the product is actually kind of a milky consistency, which is what I really like. Um, it has a very, very light texture, and it does feel very creamy, but then also milky at the same time, which is pretty standard for a leave-in conditioner in my opinion. So I'm just going to put the rest of this <laughs> in my hair without wasting this product. But yeah, so basically that's the consistency. The packaging is really nice. Now when it comes to the actual product and how it works, so I've used this about three times and I love to give products a fair shot. On the first time that I used this product, I used it on dry hair, so this was just old style hair, not washed or anything like that, I just wanted to try it. And it didn't really do as well as I thought. Like, as you're putting it throughout your hair, it feels like eventually, like, there's nothing, like, in your hair. Like, that's how lightweight this product is. Which I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, this is, I mean, it's definitely lightweight. But I didn't really like it the first time around. I think with the product that I used on top of it, it didn't really go too well with it. So it didn't really like it left like this kind of hard feeling in my hair which I'm like that shouldn't be if it's lightweight so I instead wash my hair and I use the build up buster which I just ran out of then I use this product here and then I use some other diva curl favorites so in conjunction with the leave-in I use B leave-in which is a miracle curl Plumper, and then I use the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. So these two have been really, really great, and I've talked about them on my channel before. If you checked my previous Diva Curl video, you guys will see that I hi I talk about these a lot. And I honestly, like, I'm out of this, but um, these products have been really, really great. So in conjunction with all three of these, these are actually the results, and this is the wash and go that I have. So my hair feels really, really light. It's definitely not frizz free, like I have frizz going throughout my entire head, but I don't really, I don't really mind when it comes to frizz. 
Now the only thing that I don't like about this product, it says that it's moisturizing, but this is not moisturizing at all. Like I, I'm just speaking from my personal experience with the product, but I find like this product does not give me any kind of moisture like at all. Um, I find like my hair right now just feels really, really dry. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I had to put like a shine spray, like an oil spray from LGX, the Argan oil spray. And I had to put that on top because I was like, I need some sort of moisture in my hair. Like my hair feels like hay. Like it feels so dry. And I was just like, okay, I understand that it's yeah, like if you guys can see, like my hair is really, really dry. Now I understand like it's supposed to be lightweight, but I was expecting moisture from this product and I did not get it at all through this product. So between the two leave-ins that I have, which is B leave-in as well as the leave-in decadence, I highly, highly, highly prefer the B leave-in because it gives me moisture and it also defines my curls. Like I find like, yes, like my curls are somewhat defined but with this product if I use this alone like I feel like my hair would be ultra dry like I wouldn't know what to do with it and it's just it's not I don't know like I don't think it's worth the price like at all I paid 60 something dollars I just a hundred and ten percent like prefer this leave-in compared to this leave-in like I find like Diva Curl has done much better leave-ins and this one is just not doing it for me at all. I know they marketed it as moisturizing, but personally for me it's not moisturizing. I know a lot of influencers have been sent this product and it's been given on giveaways and all that stuff, but I just don't see the hype about this product. I don't really like this product at all. So it's not something that I will be reaching for at all. And honestly guys, like I'm not trying to bash Diva Curl at all. It's just this product in, in particular, like I was expecting a lot more, especially for the price that I paid for this product. Like I tried to use it on three occasions and I just did not see a major difference with my results. Like I don't even recommend using this product on its own because it's just gonna be a waste of your time. So I just, I don't really like this product. So unfortunately guys, this one's a no for me, like you guys know if you guys have seen other videos, like I do love Diva Curl, like I talked about Diva Curl before and I try and give all products a fair chance and I try them as much as possible but this one I just, I had to come on here and just be honest with you guys, like this is just, it's not working for me and I kind of regret spending 60 something dollars on a product that just doesn't work. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have tried this product, please let me know if this is the same, feel like if you guys have the same feelings about this product, because it could just be me, it could just be the products that I'm using, it could just be how I wash my hair. I don't know, or maybe it's my curl type, but I just don't, it just doesn't work for me. So if it does work for you guys, please tell me in the comments and let me know so that I can give this another try because I really don't want to throw this out and I don't want to not use this, but if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So guys, I hope to see you guys all in the next video and make sure you guys find me on my social media, which my Instagram and my Snapchat is at heyitscandesia. Also, I do have a blog, I do have a website where I talk about curly hair products, my life, lifestyle stuff, beauty, all of that good jazz. So if you guys want to check that out, that would be great. And I'm going to leave the link here. And I'm also going to leave it in the description box so you guys can check that out. So guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.